Hello, hello guys, this is Mr. Howto and welcome back to my channel. So this particular session is about how or tips on how to get hired fast. So I specifically made this video for those newly grads out there or also for those people who are still job hunting. I believe that this quick session on tips is just for you. So stick around and let's learn. Hello, hello guys and welcome back to my channel. This is Mr. How To again. I created this video specifically for people who has who have just graduated from college or are still doing those job hunting out there. So I hope that this will help you in finding the right job that you really, really want. So the number one tip, know what you want. Time is precious when looking for a new job, so do not waste it by filling out a bunch of applications to places you are only semi-interested in. Instead, take the time to figure out the type of position you will really enjoy and then devote yourself to finding something that matches. Most job boards have recruiting sites to allow you to make specific searches to match you with a job that you would really enjoy and succeed at. You must definitely consider what kind of industry, what kind of position, the position that actually fits the degree that you have uh, taken in your college or in your vocational course, and be very, very specific on what kind of job that you really want. So this first item is really, really important. This will help you narrow down on the target job ads out there. So the number two tip, do not quit, do not quit. So you've done your research and submitted your application and resume, but what, now what? Keep your eyes open for other potential employers and opportunities as they come available. It's better to apply for many positions that interest you than just applying to one or two. So do not be uh, discouraged even if you've already submitted like a hundred applications out there and no one has replied I mean you will never know just keep on going and you will ne never know when the right job will go for you I've experienced this in the past I have submitted lots and lots tons and tons probably millions okay I'm, I'm just exaggerating here of applications out there I have been to so many interviews and then I finally got the job that I want, which actually made me very successful in it. So again, do not quit because you will never know. So the number three tip. Okay. Third tip, the cover letter. Hiring managers only spend between five to seconds, seven seconds reviewing resumes. So it's very important to grab their attention with cover letters. It's best practice to change the cover letter for each position you apply for. Always give a very, very brief summary of your qualifications and touch on how you plan to help the company thrive. Hiring managers want to know what sets you apart from other applicants. Remember that a good cover letter must be very simple and concise and brief. Introduce yourself, who you are, what degree did you finish in college, or what kind of vocational um, diploma or degree that you had. Try to line up some very specific accomplishments, not everything. Highlight the ones that actually fit the job application that you are applying for. And if it's not your first job, highlight also uh, the job history that you've had in the past. Line it up again as fit to the job that you are applying for. And always end your cover letter with a statement that you're looking forward to talking to them in person so that you can discuss more about your skills and how you actually fit in the company or the firm that you are applying for. Number four. Customize your resume. Have a very job-specific resume. 
Just like your cover letter, each resume you submit should focus on that particular job. Be sure to highlight certain skills and experiences that caters to that position. Without these, you might be missed by an applicant tracking system or the hiring manager and be immediately disqualified for the job. Leave out things that have very little to do with the position so you have room for what does. Remember that hiring uh, human resources specifically and particularly for those big companies out there, they, they have a software that actually scan your resume. They will just pick some keywords or words that they actually want uh, when they uh, screen those resumes and CVs because if a company receives like thousands, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of applications, they cannot possibly read each and every resume or CV. So you will, and because they use softwares, you have to be very smart in creating your resume. Customize your resume to the company that you're applying for. If you're applying for, let's say, 100 companies, maybe you can have 100 different kinds of customized CVs and resume to submit for each and every company that you are applying for. Remember, they cannot read all the applicants CVs and resume so you will have to be very smart in composing the resume that you are submitting to that company so our number five tip highlight on the job training so if you are a new graduate hiring managers and the human resources know this that you don't have any job history yet but you are a new graduate and I know that some colleges require their students in preparing them into the actual real world environment of being employed that they require you to do some OJT or on the job training that is specifically fit for the degree that you are taking. So highlight those on the job trainings. What company did you uh, had your OJT? What kind of skills that you highlight or you showed or you used in that OJT because hiring managers and the human resources will help them assess on how fit you are on how and how prepared you are for the job that you are applying for and if you already had some uh, job employment in the past it is important that you do not have gaps uh, in your employment history because this is a no-no this is a red flag for hiring managers or the recruiter that you might not be reliable so during the gaps that you were not employed do make sure that you kind of um, apply for some volunteer work or some OJT so this is very very important so our number six tip dress to impress so you should dress for what you want most have heard the saying that dress for the job that you want not the job you have well, it really does hold some truth in it. When when going to an when going into an interview, don't dress just for your part. Dress for the part of upper or senior management or the position that you hope to obtain during your career at the company. Again, take note. Dress uh, to impress, not dress like you're the CEO or the <laughs> the owner of the company because this might intimidate the person who will be interviewing you so just dress decently dress formally not too whimsical not too um, rich or extravagant as you may say just dress accordingly and decently according to the position that you are applying for so this is also important our number seven tip be honest and be genuine do not fake it employers do not want to see fake smiles or rehearsed answers when it comes time for the interview they want to know who they hope to hire and you want to match the position and culture being misleading helps neither of you do take note that the recruiter or the hiring manager will know if you are faking it so be genuine and be very honest our number eight tip 
tell a story. Share your stories. While in the interview, it's important to back up, back up sorry, your skills and experiences. Share stories and give examples of situations that really made your skills stand out. Provide ways that your skills helped benefit your company or your last firm or the OJT that you went for. Our number nine tip, and this is very important, leave hate behind. When you're talking about previous experiences and situations, it's important to remember that you should not talk down a past employer. That is a very, very red flag for the hiring manager or the recruiter. You want to highlight only the good things, even though we all know that you've had really bad things from your previous companies or if you're a student or a new graduate from your on-the-job training. So please avoid telling something that you hate from your previous employer because this is a very, very red flag. Just highlight the good things that you've done and your previous employers or firms or companies have done for you and that's about it. So remember that. Number 10, follow-up. D follow-up. Whether you've heard back about the job offer or not, it's important to follow up a few days after the interview. Send a thank you letter, it's important, or email stating how it was a pleasure to speak with them and that you really appreciate the opportunity and the time that they, that they spent in interviewing you. Reiterate any thoughts about why you want to work for them and be sure to offer them any contact information so they can easily reach you with any further questions. Again, always say thank you on your follow-up. This is a very uh, good gesture. They might just hire you, you know. <laughs> Our number 11 tip, network, network, network. Sometimes job opportunities happen in the most unlikely of places. Be open to communicating and networking with others in your field whether at an industry event, over email, or even on over social media, Facebook, LinkedIn, um, Twitter, and other media, media platforms. Allow yourself to connect with others and make your presence known. Number 12, references. Okay, you already have your networking um, web of networks. You're already connected to people on LinkedIn, Facebook, or even Twitter to people who are, are actually in the field that you are, that you want to work for, or that is very related to the degree that you have completed back in college or on, or on your vocational course. So references are very, very important. Select the ones that actually of good quality and would be highlighted correctly and beautifully as we might say in your resume or on your CV. Number 13. Turn the negative to positive. We all have weaknesses and employers want to know about them. Remember, a weakness can become a positive. For example, one of your weaknesses could be procrastination. However, despite that, you always make the deadlines and produce excellent work while working well under pressure. Another can be you're not good at a particular skill. Highlight what you did to actually improve on that skill. This will help the hiring manager or the recruiter in determining on how willing you are to go uh, the extra mile to actually learn something and turn a very negative aspect of your work history or any skills that will be uh, a green light for them. To actually probably hire you so turn the negative into a positive number 14 focus on wins focus on your accomplishments acknowledging your accomplishments is just as important as anything else and it will help you stand out you might not have the 10 years of experience but if you can prove that your team doubted its sales in one year for example if you were in sales in your previous job that can make a huge difference when you're being considered for a position and if you are a new graduate highlight the things that you have done with your college projects 
what did you uh, accomplish or contribute to team projects or your thesis or what kind of skills that you did very very well when you were in your on the job training highlight all of these during the interview on your cover letter and probably even on your resume our last but certainly not the least and it is the only uh, number of um, items that i can probably cover for today i might do another session on different tips that you can use on job hunting and getting the job very fast so our number 15 tip is be engaged and ask questions hiring managers and employers want to know that you are listening and interested in what they they have to say this means that you have to be engaged as well ask questions if something is unclear not to show you are listening and keep an eye contact 67 percent of hiring managers say they've eliminated candidates after an interview because they failed to make enough eye contact or engagement so this is very important again this shows confidence and sense of leadership something that companies big value sorry value greatly of course one of the best ways to show you're engaged is by being proactive browse the organization's websites read reviews scroll through social pages learn their history and mission and values they are built on bring notes from your research on the company to your interview this information will give you ideas for questions to ask your interviewer and will show the hiring team you are confident and mean business there's nothing more impressive than someone who shows up prepared and ready to tackle any obstacles ahead so again these are the 15 tips for now that i can share to those who are newly graduates or for those who are still on their job hunting so i wish you all luck and get those jobs fast hello guys if you liked this video please please hit the subscribe button and you can also follow me on my facebook page the link can be found below on the description under this video thank you very much